Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm here again at Rock Island Auction Company looking at some of the upcoming guns for their September premiere auction. And one of the extremely rare ones that they have this time is this Lee 1875 Vertical Action Carby. Now in 1874, James Paris Lee came up with a design for a, a falling block action, very similar to a, a Peabody or Martini action, um, except with an external hammer instead of an internal striker. And he lobbied Congress, and in 1874, he was able to get Congress to earmark $10,000 for development of this rifle uh, for military trials. That $10,000 was enough to fund production of 143 rifles, which were made by Springfield Armory in 1875. Uh, the rifle went through testing. It ultimately wasn't adopted, just as dozens of other neat rifles were not adopted by the US military around that time frame. So what is particularly interesting about this example is that it's carbine. It is marked Remington. The original guns were all made by Springfield Armory. Um, so this may have been a Remington factory, factory prototype, uh, factory experiment. Um, certainly carbine length guns like this were very common with the cavalry. This does have a saddle ring on it. The other very cool thing about the vertical Lee action in general is that for a single shot rifle, it was an extremely fast shooting gun. Um, in his patent application, uh, James Lee claimed that he was able to fire 30 rounds from one of these rifles in a mere 45 seconds. When you consider single loading 4570, that's actually that's quite a feat. So let's come in a little bit closer and take a look at exactly how this action works and what gets you that sort of speed. So James Lee was a very prolific firearms inventor. Um, several years after this, in 1879, he would go on to literally be the inventor of the detachable box magazine. Um, he was the Lee behind the Lee Enfield and the Lee Metford rifles. Um, the Lee Navy was his design. Really a very much under-recognized innovator in firearms design. Now with this particular action, there are several unusual elements or uncommon elements to it. You can see we have a trough here. Like a martini, that's where you load a cartridge in. Right here, there's a little uh, square block. That is actually the extractor. And in order to close the block, you have to push that extractor forward. So the way this is intended to be done is that you load a cartridge in, and the rim hits that, pulls it forward, just like a small artillery piece, and then the block closes behind. So to do it manually, we have to reach in there with a the finger, push the ejector forward, or the extractor forward. That unlocks the breech to, to rise up. Now the breech is mostly engaged, but not fully. It doesn't fully engage until you cock the hammer. When I do that, you can see that the block lifts up and locks into place. It has a half cock safety, which we're on now. And then we have full cock right there. So that's half of the speed equation, is that simply loading, throwing a cartridge into the breech will close the, the breech block. Then you just have to cock the hammer. So when we fire the, the gun, hammer drops, and when I release the trigger, you can see that the breech block drops down slightly, becomes unlocked. Now you can push this breech block down with your finger to open it. But the fast way to do it, what allowed Lee to get such a, a, a rapid fire, was to actually take the palm of your hand and smack the back of the hammer. That drops the breech block all the way open, and it also engages the ejector right there and throws the cartridge out, the empty case out. So you have this very fast um, manual of arms where sliding a cartridge in unlocks the block, brings it up, then all you have to do is cock the hammer, fire the gun, smack it like that, and it throws the empty cartridge out for you. Um, far, far faster than a trapdoor Springfield, for example. If you would like to become the proud new owner of this vertical lead carving, as I said, it will be up for auction at Rock Island in September 2014. It's lot number 1123, so you can go on their website and take a look at their photos, and if you want to bid on it, best of luck to you. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.